Hey Aries, it's Diane with 303 High Priestess. This is your bi-weekly reading for October 16th through the 31st. Let's go ahead and jump in with each other. Hope all of you guys are doing well. It's always some noise. I swear be quiet before I start turn the camera on. <laughs> Alright. What message do you have here for Aries? You guys, if this message resonates with you, make sure you like the video. If you haven't done so already. <laughs> Some people like it right away. Like the video so it can be shared with others here on YouTube. Okay, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. If you have already, all of my returning subscribers, thank you guys for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate your love and your support that you show me here on this channel. And hit that notification bell. You guys, if you haven't done that already, okay? So you know when I upload for you guys again. If this reading does not resonate with you, Aries, or cross watchers, all right? Um, you can check out the October playlist down in the description box uh, for any other videos that may um, seem interesting to you that you may be drawn to. Okay, or to get a clearer message on what you should be um, paying attention to for the rest of October. All right, let's take a moment of silence while I get out your Celtic cross here. Spirit, what message do you have here for Aries? October 16th through the 31st. Thank you. Okay. Got some good stuff here, Aries. Let's go into your reading and see what's going on. All right. Your first card, you have mistakes that's coming up. All right. Mistakes. It says, if you feel you have made a mistake or indeed someone else has done so with impact on you, please do not feel bad about this. Treasure and value your mistakes and those of others around you. They are the cutting edge of our personal growth and evolution. Lean into the learning and celebrate your openness to grow. Uh, from your cards here, Aries, I feel like you're doing that already, okay? Uh, someone may have gotten under your skin. That's what this is, okay? It's just a clarifying card or an additional um, oracle card to uh, clarify this one or to add on additional messages for you. So you got the sad card. Either you're sad or <laughs> you made someone feel sad, okay? But I feel like you were just doing what you had to do okay uh being yourself unapolog unapologetically here um you may be feeling this sadness as well okay because you have to put someone in their place or you feel like you have to tell someone where to go <laughs> okay what you're about what you're not going to accept and really check someone check mark okay the card is saying unhappy joyless dejected okay i'm saying jaded Someone feels jaded. That's the word that, that they're giving me here, okay? Um, this is someone from your past. This is what I'm seeing. Or someone that you know or someone that you have been dealing with for uh, quite a bit of time, okay? They're giving me a long time period and for people that have been in relationships for like a year or longer here, okay? Whether it is a romantic one or um, a, a friendship here. This could even be family here, okay, or someone at work. <laughs> you guys check someone at work? Uh, possibly, okay. Well, that's what it is, all right. If they had to be checked, that's, that's what needed to be done. You have miracles coming in, and boy, do I see this happening here, okay. I, I feel, Aries, that you are definitely stepping into this new personality, into yourself. You're being very transparent about who you are and what you're about and what you will and will not accept. You're taking care of yourself as well with this butterfly that I'm seeing it in number 33, which lets me know that this is your ascended masters that wants to bring you this message in, okay? The card says miracles. We tend to perceive miracles only when our personal desires are met. And yet when we look back, 
Almost all of us will be able to recall a crisis or a challenge that ultimately provided to be a miraculous turning point and an extraordinary gift. This card asks you to see the miracles that surround you right now and in every situation here. Ooh, someone is respecting you now. It's because you stepped into your power. Like I said, you have respectful coming in. Someone's respecting you. They're seeing that you're evolving. You're growing. You're grown. I'm grown. Okay? Don't treat me like that <laughs> before I have to dismiss you. I feel like that's what you guys have said or done in some way. Um courteous admiring someone still is uh very attracted to you or um someone's coming back into your life showing you a lot of um respect okay for you putting your foot down here you're going to get that respect here okay i feel like you will feel it here and it's because you have stood your ground you have stand your ground here aries this card brings a clear message whether in pragmatic action or in holding firm to your own principles and to your own opinions whatever your situation do not give way now this may be other people dibbing and dabbing in your relationship or in your situation in your business okay and i feel like your spirit team just is saying to you stand your ground okay uh whatever other people's opinions are here to, uh, about you and your situation um you're living your life right now okay so this is your life you need to stand your ground for what you believe in here this card says this is not the time to back down the time is right to hold your own and stand your ground why are you saying this Ooh, longing hmm so they're saying don't flip-flop with someone even outside people don't flip-flop just to appease them Aries I don't think you'll do that even though I know you have a good heart you have a soft heart <laughs> exterior wise you look um, <laughs> you can be brutal to others like you have an attitude or you just are stuck up in some way but I don't and I deal with Aries here so I can say that okay um, both my sons are Aries so um, no, I feel like you do have a good heart here, okay? But I feel like with this longing card that is coming in here, they're also saying don't um, give in to others just to... Um, appease them. That's what I'm feeling. Um, still stand your ground and don't back down okay some of you guys may be longing for the way things used to be with someone here you, because the card is saying yearning um homesick wistful this could be a uh, feeling of longing for a particular person and not just being homesick as well okay but they're saying stand your ground don't give way here don't try to back down or uh sue someone else's ego or feelings here uh and compromise your own feelings and your own wants and needs and desires here okay uh, they're saying learn to say no so I mean, one of you guys need to say no no okay um the card is saying saying that's my son, excuse me. Saying no is an act of love. When we say a healthy no to an abusive situation, whether this is in response to another person or to ourselves, we are setting limits and establishing healthy boundaries. A healthy no is saying yes to life, yes to what you want, okay? Yes to how you feel and who you are evolving into. Um, your card is saying give yourself permission to say no here, okay? And you have receptive. You're being open, accepting, and welcoming here, okay? But only to the point where you're feeling comfortable in a situation. Not like you are compromising so much that you are um, let, letting things go on in your life that uh, make you feel taken advantage of or make you feel uh uncomfortable okay they're wanting me to remind you of your self-worth here they want you to continue to be confident and not settle for less than what you desire here um and they want you to evaluate your self-worth this is what i'm uh hearing here okay and focus on um believing that you're worthy of a healthy relationship here aries okay so if a situation or a person is asking you to do something that doesn't make you feel comfortable, does that answer? No. Learn to say no here, okay? And not be so accepting and so open and welcoming here, okay? 
maybe because you guys are yearning for the way things used to be or learn uh, yearning for the way a person used to be here that you may find yourself sometime here in October wanting to say yes to things <laughs> um, that go against your better judgment here but your spirit team wants to warn you not to do that don't compromise yourself so let's take a look at your cards here okay how are you looking you're looking good here okay you got i feel like you have your let me get my words right you're making some good moves here you have the page of wands that's coming in this fire energy that's you okay um some of you guys have Leo Sag in your chart as well somewhere with this card coming out. So if you do, this message is for you, okay? <laughs> this is you though. Um, and it's letting me know that you are definitely being more confident. You, you are more aware of your emotions and what you're doing. And you're confident in, in the choices that you're making here. And I feel like you're also opening yourself up to new possibilities because uh, what's crossing you here, okay? This could be a, a potential challenge or a, a person or a situation here. I feel like this is an opportunity though, okay? This is potential with the Four of Wands crossing you here, okay? Your card is saying so much to celebrate, send gratitude to the divine and the angels for the peace and prosperity coming to you. Peace and contentment in your personal life i feel like this may also be in your uh romantic life as well if you are making amends with someone or coming back together with someone because i'm definitely seeing this we're still in mercury retrograde so ew. all right you may find yourself reconnecting with someone from the past it does not have to be a lover could be a friend could be a family member okay could be someone that you used to work with but your future energy that's coming in here okay um is a six of cups so this is a lot of romanticizing about the past either you're doing this or or someone uh that you were dealing with is doing this okay so you guys may find yourself reuniting with someone coming back together trying to find stable ground in a relationship or a connection um but still Stand your ground and don't compromise just because you come back with someone here. You don't have to change who you are evolving into here. Okay, but I do see a lot of stability uh, coming in with that four of wands. Um, and I don't feel like it's a, a ton of drama here. Okay, I want to let you know someone misses you though. And they're going to come back with an apology due to a lot of mistakes here. Okay, own up to your part here as well. Aries, if you were in the wrong in some way. Because uh, I feel like this is both your energy and possibly someone else's here. Okay, this sad card uh, and the mistakes card that is coming in here. All right, so what you need to focus on, um, the energy that you're giving out here, which is good with the King of Cups. Okay, make sure it not only benefits you, um, someone else make sure it's equal okay equal give and take here in a relationship whether that is business personal uh romantic here okay um the card says trustworthy honorable devoted cautious be cautious here okay someone you can completely trust i feel like someone is seeing you as this uh person uh, that they can trust as a person that they can trust here. Okay. Uh, that's the energy that's coming in. The card says a situation that is safe, a solid romantic relationship. So for some of you, this is a romantic relationship coming back together with someone that you know. Okay. I've done a singles reading already. So check it out in the October playlist here. Okay. In the description box. Uh, and the card says hidden but well intended. Someone's emotions are hidden but well inten intended here. So I, like I said, someone does misses you, miss, misses you. Someone does miss you here, okay? It could be a water sign that you guys are dealing with. does not have to be, okay? Um, but that's the energy that's coming in. What's in your past here? You, you had a doozy going on. You had some uh, the flu flops. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Laid on you. You got the tower card coming in. I'm trying to make it gentle, but it was a lot of upheaval and a lot of, uh, I don't want to say negative, but 
it was rough seas that you were trying to navigate through in a relationship. This could have been a breakup. A lot of disappointment, though, when the Tower card comes in to your reading. This is something that you have dealt with already with someone or in a situation, okay, that changed your life a lot here, Aries. You could have moved from this person. You could have moved from a job and you're trying to obtain another career or position somewhere else. It's, I feel like you've left something here with this uh, tower energy here in your past, okay? The card is saying a significant life experience that requires changes to be made. And I feel like you've done that already, okay? But the past is coming back to revisit you, okay? <laughs> um, just remember why you left a situation. That's what I feel like your spirit team wants you to pay attention to why you left in the first place. That's why you have this card that, say, that says learn to say no. Because you said no in the past for some reason. Something ended for some of you guys uh, abruptly. And it was a lot of heartbreak that uh, took place from this ending here. Okay, But uh, it gave you a new understanding and it gave you uh, a new vantage point on where you are going, where you're headed in your life. Okay, It was a bumpy ride, but I feel like you have powered through it here since the Tower card is in your past. I like to see it in the past and not in your present here. Okay, So what's on your minds, love? Ooh, you have the Eight of Swords. You got too much going on up there, Aries. Okay, you could be doubting yourself right now at this moment. Um, pay attention to your heart here. If your mind is trying to trick you, go within. Search for answers from your higher self. Go within. Take a moment of silence and think about your decisions before going forward. Don't be hasty because I know you guys could be hasty because you like to to get shit done okay <laughs> but i feel like your spirit team wants you to really sit in silence and think about your choices before moving forward but don't get stuck okay because some of you guys are feeling stuck in a situation or stuck in making a decision or choice here um yeah that's what i feel here but they don't want you to be a prisoner of your own mind here that's exactly what the uh this eight of swords is letting me know here follow what is true um accept truth in a situation here and don't rely on illusions here okay or fantasies here okay the card says uh the card says an illusion of entrapment a lack a lack of self-confidence that makes you feel helpless being afraid to take action they're saying take responsibility for your life now okay and we looked at the future energy with this six of cups like i said someone's coming back around I see this. It's, it's coming around here. You're going to have to think about this connection here, Aries. This uh, situation and see if it is for you, okay? When in doubt, just take more time to think about it <laughs> instead of rushing into making a decision here. Your suggested approach, take care of you first, okay? Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually with the Empress card that's coming in here, okay? Your card is saying give birth to your dreams. Creative projects will be very successful, abundance and prosperity. That's where your energy lies here for the rest of October. That's where your mind needs to be. Uh, that's what your spirit team wants you to know. I love to see the the Empress card coming in here and this is your suggested approach is for you to take care of yourself right now mother yourself take care of yourself nurture yourself right now at this time um I feel also they're saying be thankful I'm hearing this be thankful for what you have currently here so more blessings and abundance and prosperity can move in towards you here some of you guys have children I'm saying this two boys or a girl and a boy I'm I'm just saying this from uh, the bunnies in the back of this car for some reason. Uh, and I got a picture of, of kids here, okay? Some of you guys are with child here. Just to let you know, some of you guys don't know this yet, but be careful, okay, if you're not trying to get pregnant. Because I'm seeing this uh, picture of someone being with child and possibly not knowing, okay? So uh, what you need to know, <laughs> you have the ace of swords you're about to get a lot of truth thrown onto you here aries that's what i'm seeing someone coming back wanting to express to you their feelings what's in their mind they're speaking their truth communicating with a lot of passion it's like a lot of open expression when the ace of swords comes in here okay someone's going to explode at the throat chakra area okay and really 
put the feelings on and, and express their feelings very deeply here. Okay. Um, your card says communicate clearly and concisely during this time for the rest of October. Okay. We'll go into November soon. All right. I like to take things slow. Um, and I skip three, four, five, six months ahead. Okay. That's not real. Anyway. <laughs> The card is letting me know that there is a lot of clarity that is going to be going on. All right. The card says overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out and you will overcome obstacles because the power is in your hands now. Okay. With the Ace of Swords, you are king or you are queen. You see this. Okay. Uh, your butterfly is coming in again, letting me know that you've gone through the most. You have transformed a lot. You have learned a lot here and you are in control. Okay. They're letting me know that you can feel safe and comfortable right now at this moment in making choices for yourself. And in the event that you don't feel this way, go within to search for answers from the divine, okay, from the most high. All right. They're wanting you to remain objective here, okay. So you're wondering if everything will be okay. And I feel like it will. Your hopes and your fears here is the six of wands. I feel like you will step into this energy of being very victorious and successful here. Um, even moving into November, I'm seeing this, okay, because the six of wands is moving you in the right direction here, okay. <laughs> Be careful, though. There may be a lot of people out there here, Aries, that may not um, appreciate all of the success that's moving towards you. You're like, fuck the haters. No, they'll be there watching, <laughs> um, lurking here. Okay. So the card says victory. Wise choices that bring public recognition and success, promotion, awards, and scholarships here. So if you are in the wands are, are coming in. So this is talking about a career. It's talking about your life in general here. Okay. Your reputation as well when the wands show up in, in your reading here. Um, and it's just telling me you're going to have success after a lot of um unfortunate events happening in your life something that you weren't prepared for since we got the tower card in your past energy here okay like i said you guys could have gone through a breakup you could have uh left a job or a home or a situation that was really bringing you down and wasn't healthy for you you've broke a lot of uh those ties here okay and your spirit team definitely wants you to keep fighting for what you want to keep working on yourself evolving and growing into your beautiful full self here okay and continue to be objective and make wise choices for yourself here okay so in the near future here okay or moving into november this is our november card here the three of pentacles is coming in so get ready you guys are going to be busy that's what i'm seeing a lot of you guys will obtain a new career you will have a better income a new job Pros uh, possibility or you starting your own company or your own YouTube channel <laughs> okay or your own online um, company if you are thinking about doing that or brick and mortar place if you're thinking about opening up something that people can physically walk into okay I feel like there's going to be a lot of success but don't forget to work with others that are like-minded here okay um, yes work with people that are like-minded not just are interested but experienced in what you are trying to build here in your life Aries okay with the three of pentacles your card is saying do what you love recognition for the highest quality of work that's that means and it's telling me that you should work with people that have a high quality attitude and have experience in what you are trying to accomplish here okay um, they want you to uh, continue to work on your creative endeavors. It's going to pay you off well, um, your skill set. And I feel like you will have a lot of people that want to work with you. But there's going to have to be a process of elimination because everyone is not great to work with. I don't want to make this Three of Pentacles feel like whoever you collaborate with or join with uh, is going to be good. And is really going to be focused on your passion and carrying out your vision. Okay, you're going to have to go through this process of elimination to get rid of people that may not be on the same page that you are on. And that's okay. Everybody has different viewpoints. Uh, so yeah, get to know the, the people that you want to collaborate with uh, before you invest a lot in those uh, 
relationships here, okay? But you're going to have an excellent reputation. That's what that is letting me know, okay? All right, Aries, that is your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for coming back to watch. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, loves. I'll see you guys in the next reading. Bye.